the front we have Ray the Cactus guy so first week of February 2022 and I just want to give you a quick overview of my plants mostly uh, cactuses is what we're gonna talk about whoever follows my channel I've seen the tour before. Just give you a quick overview. This is my Gymnocolisseum collection down here. I have three trays of them. Gymnocolisseums are one of my favorites. I have lots of favorites, but this is one of my favorites. And what I like most about uh, gymnos are the spikes. These have magnificent spikes. Some long, some short. Some have lots of spikes. Some have not so many spikes. But one of my favorites. And then also my mellow cactuses. These are not all mellows, but there's a good portion of mellows down here. Mellows and ferro cactus. Golden barrels in the back. Magnificent spikes. These are the new additions. Some of the new additions that I've grafted that are taken really well. These are a couple of new ones. One, I believe, is a gymno, the one in the back, and the one in this one there is a domino. I've grafted dominoes before. These, this is a Echnosopsis, I believe. Okay, moving on. This was one I did over the summer and it actually on the side there is growing a pup right out of the stalk. So that was pretty interesting. You got a graft on top and a stalk growing on the side. These are some mellow cactus, uh, noto cactus, mammalarias, they're all mixed up. Echinopsis. Some of my dominoes, I like dominoes. And um, this is the newest one I got. And I have lots of dominoes here and down here. But this particular one has a funky little growth on top, like a crown. And I'm not sure if it's getting ready to grow another pop or another growth on top, but look at that, isn't that weird? These are two little ones that I've been growing for about a year. When I got them, they were um, maybe the size of a grape and now Still a lot smaller than the larger ones, but they're getting a good size on them. This is that variegated one that I got. You can see the color there. Here's some more mammalarias. But let's get to the main topic, 
What I wanted to really discuss is the new additions to my uh, collection. We'll start off with the uh, Tefro Cactus. I have three of them, two I put in one pot. These are growing one on top of another. And then this one is just a single one. A lot thicker, a lot fatter. Um, Tephrocactus articulatus. Nice plant. Eventually they'll grow these paper-like spines. This one here on the right, on the left is a um, I guess starting to grow a few spikes on top, those little white speckles. And then my coho poas. This is the tenusima that I had. I've had this one about a year now. And this is the new addition here. This is a, um, a whole clump. There's about eight pups around this main one in the middle. They have the most gorgeous purpley brownish color. This is a uh, copiobia. Uh, sorry, I'm not that good with pronunciations, but this is a humulus. And then also some astrophytums. This is a mirror stigma. It's a five ribbed. And this one also. This one back here I've had. This one I've had for about two years now. Quite healthy. This one, though, on the other hand, this is a a six ribbed one that's shaped into like a spiral. But I'm not sure if it's it's quite firm. It's not soft at all. But the ribs have gotten. So skinny, you see that? It used to be filled out like these. But I'm guessing it's due to it being dormant. This is February. I just, uh, I lost a few plants, a couple astrophytum asterias that tricked me into watering them. They've gotten, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Um, they tricked me into watering them because they started to shrink and started to wrinkle up. And I gave them the smallest amount of water and they still, actually, I have one right here, I'll show you. This one here. It's a lovely plant. Started shriveling. I gave it a little water and then it started to rot. So I took it out of the dirt and I don't know. It's still somewhat firm. So I'm just leaving it out of the, the soil just to see if it recovers. But this was what I was talking about. You see how it's shrinking and shriveling on the sides? And that's why I gave it water. I have another one similar, similar to that one, which is right here. Now th this used to be full and plump like this one. And just all of a sudden started shrinking and started shriveling. 
but I'm restraining myself from giving it water. I'm not gonna take a chance with this one. Um, this is a new addition here. This is a uh, ornatium. Uh, pretty good size. Probably, not probably, this is my biggest astrophytum. It's got very long uh, spikes. It's got really good color. Let me turn the light so you guys can get a better look at it. This one I just got. Normally I wouldn't order or buy certain cactuses during the winter time, but um, astrophytums are pretty cold tolerant and they can take um, the cold and the stress of shipping and they're tough plants. This next to it is a, um, a five ribbed uh, Meristigma. This is the one, if anybody remembers watching uh, my previous videos, my summertime uh, tours, this uh, was the one that kept flowering over and over. It flowered probably eight or 10 times. Uh, a few times it had three uh, flowers, large yellow, yellow and red flowers at the same time. A few times it had single flowers. Um, this is another ornatium, smaller one. And um, this particular one is, I've had this for about two years now also. And the spikes on this one are darker, a brownish color, which um, most of them are. But this new one, the reason I ordered it is look at the spikes. So much lighter, almost a uh, blonde color, tan color uh, spikes on this one. Besides, I got a really good deal on it. And then also, this is another uh, Meristigma, a five tier, a five rib. So that's new. This is a three rib. That's also new. And this is a four rib, which is also new. Um, this is my Capricorn. This is the one that's got me worried. The shrinking Asterius. This is another Asterius. This one's plump and doing really well. This one I featured in a couple of videos. That one behind it is the Anzuka. Love this plant. I've had this one since uh, probably midsummer, July or so. So it's about seven or eight months old. Give you a top view. Isn't that a gorgeous plant? And then some more new additions were these here. These are Astrophytum Purple Asterias. The most gorgeous color on this uh, on this plant. I got three of them. This one, and they're all different. Similar but different. This one's got some white uh, spots that are coming in on top, and then also this one. This one is starting to shrink up a little bit on the sides, but like I said, I'm not giving these any water. And my newest plant is this one right here, which I very much enjoy. 
This is one of my favorites. This is a Super Kabuto. It's good size. It's about two inches across. It's got a nice white design on it. And also the little puffy cotton balls. And then this one also was another new one that I got. Standing up tall and proud. I love these plants. And one other thing I wanted to show you was a an aloe. And mind you, this is February. This is a aloe humulus. And look at that. It's budding. From what I understand, these stalks can get up to two feet long and have uh, one to two inch uh, long, elongated orange and red flowers that will droop down. So I'll keep you updated on that one. And then also this was a new one too. This is the uh, yeah, let me pull the label. This is the aloe Ritzii. It's a lot similar to a ferox. That's the ferox back there. But the ferox, the end of the plant, the end of the leaves are come to a point and very sharp. And this one here is kind of rounded off and has many spikes. So, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update of my new plants to the collection. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, maybe share it with a friend, and I will talk to you next time. This is not a good town for psychedelic drugs.